Hey y'all, and welcome back to a new video. Now, today I'm going to be going over some of the LEGO news that has come up in the past week. Please note that I'm actually not going to be going in chronological order like I have in the past. I am actually grouping things by theme, so I'll do like the set reveals at once. I'll do um, whatever LEGO ideas projects have reached 10,000 supporters, those together. So that's just a little heads up for you guys. So before we actually get into the news today, I wanted to share a new mock I have been working on. That's just a custom creation of mine. This is the African Savannah, and I've actually detailed the whole process and build up on my blog. That should be up right now. You can check it out. I'll have a little link or something pop up over here. You can check that out. And that is Blacker Bricks Builds at blogspot.com. You can actually check out the link over here in case the thing up here is not showing up for you um, that's also linked on my youtube channel header and you can check that out on my link tree on instagram as well um, so yeah definitely check that out really helps support the channel and uh, hope you guys enjoy the news so starting off we had the announcement of what I believe was the third 2021 review stage. Now, I did make a video on this, and some of you might look back on it and, and uh, find it a little bit funny that I chose mainly I, I, I sorry, I stayed away from IPs. I did not really want to make a prediction on those because, I don't know, it's kind of up in the air usually. So what ended up being chosen was actually an IP, and that was not on my list. And um, I'm not too sure about this set i don't really have too many thoughts i have not seen the movie so i'm not really familiar with the uh the whole story here it looks like a pretty cool build and i think the lego designers will make this into something that i'll be interested in i know my interests and i think that this this might end up being something potentially interesting i don't want to say too much because we really don't have too much more information I do wish they chose more than one uh, set this round. That's what I will say. So moving on, we have the Lego Camaro Z28. This is, I believe, the uh, Chevy Camaro. And um, this is a really sleek looking build. So this is supposed to come out in August 1st. And it's supposed to retail for $169.99 uh, US. So that's uh, a little bit pricier than we've seen in the past. I think a set like this would normally go for 150 As you guys know already, LEGO has been increasing their prices, and um, that's a, a topic for another video. I don't know if I'm going to go into that stuff here. Um, let's forget about that now for a, and just, just look at this build. I think this is a really nice-looking build. I'm not a huge car guy. I do appreciate sleek models and solid LEGO design. And I say this this is a it's a really cool looking build. I uh I one of the first things I noticed was the uh popsicle pieces recolored in light bluish gray. That's pretty sleek. Um they've actually offered the I guess the stripes, if you might if you're if you can call them that. I believe in dark bluish gray and then dark red. I'm not sure if that's like a chrome piece. I think it's just dark bluish gray or maybe even light bluish gray. I, the lighting is a little bit weird here, but that's really cool. The interior looks great. I don't know. I might actually go ahead and buy this this uh, set. Maybe I'll wait for it to go on some sort of sale, but uh looks pretty good. So this set I am very excited for. Um, I actually started watching The Office a couple years back, kind of whatever, waned out. And then when I heard that they were making a set, I started watching it all the way through and I'm currently watching it and I have just been loving this show. Um, obviously there's quite a bit of, I guess, bias there because I'm such a big fan of the show. Um, it looks like a pretty solid set. It's going to be retailing for $120 US. This is coming October 1st and this has actually come out of Lego Ideas. Uh, some of you might know that this project had gone through Lego Ideas multiple times. It had reached 10,000 supporters, but it hadn't really gone anywhere. So I guess it's kind of good surprise that this has come out. Um, there's a lot of nifty little details. One thing I thought I'd note is that this is, I guess, part of the office. So we have a lot of the main area here. We have Michael's office. We have the conference room, the reception desks, a couple of the workers' desks. We don't really have the break room, the vending machines, the bathroom, any of the other offices in the back, which 
I guess could lead some people to speculate, oh, maybe they're going to make more sets. I think a lot of it depends on how well the set sells. And if we can learn anything from the success of the Friends uh, idea set, it's that these sets sell pretty well. Um, it is a little bit on the pricier set, but I still think it's going to do pretty well. Here's a picture of the figures, which I, I know are of high demand to many. I think they did a really good job with some of these. Obviously, some of these characters are much more recognizable than others. Um, that's also part just due to how the actors look and how recognizable they are. Um, so yeah, pretty solid all around. I thought I would mention that a couple of the characters from later seasons, like Andy, Aaron, and Gabe, are missing. Um, do with that information what you will. Who knows? Maybe they will make another set, but let's let's hold up for that. So here's an interesting one. Um, so you might have heard about the whole Lego Indiana Jones, uh, I guess, theories and how some people were thinking that the coconut theme this summer was going to be Indiana Jones. Turned out that was actually Avatar. So that's that's something that we don't need to worry about, I guess. But we have a pretty solid rumor that there are going to be eight uh, Indiana Jones sets releasing next summer. Now, I believe there is a new Indiana Jones movie releasing sometime next summer uh that is going to be the fifth one i believe and this is pretty exciting news i'll be completely honest with you guys i have not actually seen the films <laughs> i know uh i'd like to they seem pretty solid and um uh, this is pretty exciting news um so it looks like there are going to be four sets for the older movies and then four sets based on the newest movie so that's pretty exciting and i'm excited to see what lego team comes together with all right, moving on to the final, I guess, section of our video. These are just the Lego Ideas projects that have reached our 10,000 supporters. Starting off, we have the Gravity Falls Mystery Shack. This is by Mini Bic Productions. Uh, interestingly enough, this is actually not the first time this uh, theme has reached 10,000 supporters. We had one a year or two back, I remember. Did not get approved, unfortunately. This looks like a really solid build. Um, it's a pretty good uh, use of uh, Dustin's cap from Stranger Things. That fits pretty well there. Um, this is good. You can tell that the designer really has an eye for graphic design. They've put together some pretty solid printed parts. Um, generally, the build is pretty good too. Solid. Next up, we have the Chinese Garden by It Fun. And this has received 10,000 supporters as well. It's a very nice looking build. Um some some very good details i really like the water lilies and uh just the water detailing over here beautiful tree spectacular architecture over here pretty neat looking build for sure next up we have the sony walkman this is by jirak and this is actually a one-to-one -one scale build which is pretty awesome they've done some pretty cool things here i really love the use of the chain link pieces here i guess that's the strap um the cassette yeah, it looks pretty nice as well. And the headphones are just, they're great. They're really great. I think uh, the curved pieces over here, they just flow together so nicely. Just some really, really solid building techniques going on over here. Um, next, we have the Golden Trumpet Tree with Park Bench. This is by D. Lambert. And a um, little fun fact for you guys, these uh, these trees are indigenous to Brazil, and this is actually the national flower. So I thought that was a little cool detail you might want to know. Beautiful little build. Yeah, I uh, really like this. Last but not least, we have the A-Team. It's called I Love It When a Plant Comes Together. <laughs> and this is by Mock Turnal. So I guess there is some potential. If some of you guys remember, there was a Lego Ideas little pack that came out a couple years back or did i say lego ideas i meant lego dimensions yeah so that's that's something that we saw a couple years back so i guess there's potential right something like this could get made i don't know so yeah that's that's all i got for you guys today in the video hope you enjoyed please check out the blog if you have time and i will see you guys soon thanks so much and have a great day